Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today is a long awaited video as I found out the other day. Um, I was scrolling through my YouTube channel looking at videos that I feel like need updating and renewing because a lot's changed since then and I thought surely there's a video on here that you know I need to make a new one of because it's just outdated. So it's actually been about four years since my last setup video and holy shit my setup has changed a lot since then i actually watched the whole video and it was actually painful to watch um like how i used to actually play and edit videos and stuff like in that setup on that desk with that stuff um i don't actually understand how i did it so often and so much like looking back now it's like it shouldn't be allowed basically compared to what i've got now um so yeah we're going to run through it i'm going to show you what i've got uh, the sort of space that I'm working with and stuff that's just sort of surrounding me and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, as you come into my room, you walk in and you're greeted with this. This is my new gaming desk slash sort of office kind of area uh, where I do a lot of my computer work and gaming and stuff like that, streaming. Um, so, yeah, um, I mean, bit of a difference compared to, you know, the sort of setups I've had in the past. I'll just turn that light on, actually. You can sort of see what I'm kind of going with here. There you go, that's the desk as it is. Um, I'll leave that light on a minute. Uh, so, we'll start from the top and just sort of work down. Um, hopefully I don't forget anything. Um, but if I do, let me know um, in the comment section. So, first things first. So we've got this ring light just on top here. Um, I don't actually know what brand that is. That might even be like a TikTok shop jobby. It's, a proper, it's only a cheap one. Uh, but I, I had a smaller one than that to begin with. It was like an iPhone one that goes on top of the phone, but it, it didn't do anything. Whereas this one, as you can see, is perfect because it sort of lights up that whole area. It lights up all my backdrop. Um, I just need to sort this out because where the webcam is just there, when I'm streaming, you can sort of just see the ring light in there, but that's not very well there, really. That's just a, a me issue. I don't think anyone else is bothered with that. Um... And that's actually attached to a cheap camera tripod, uh, like a gorilla pod, which I've just hooked around the top of the desk. Because uh, luckily this desk has got like a bit of a, almost like a frame just on the top of it, where you can hang stuff on and you can click stuff on just like that. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then for the webcam, I've got the Razer Cairo webcam. And this is the one that doesn't have the built-in ring light. This is just a standard one. Um, so that's just plugged straight into uh, the back of my PC. Why is this not focusing? So yeah, um, that's the webcam. That was about 80 quid, something like that, give or take. Um, yeah, so not too bad. Um, I've got this Acer monitor, the KG22 1Q. Um, and then I've got a newer version, which is the K... I can't remember, but it'll be in the description. But this, that's the newer version of that, I'm pretty sure. Or the model up, or the mod, two models up, or something like that. Um, so that's the better monitor. As you can see, this has got like a thicker kind of layer at the bottom, whereas this one's a lot more flat and flush, and it looks really good. Um, and you can actually twist that one on its side as well, which I did once or twice, but it doesn't really work for me with this setup. Also, when I was doing this build, I tried very, very hard to keep it a clean build. I literally just wanted like a keyboard, a mouse, a mouse pad and an iPad or something like that on my desk and the headphone stand. But I couldn't help but just add these, I mean these figures, you know, I've got Pokemon stuff there. Um, I've got the Slave one with the Mandalorian, no not the Mandalorian, sorry, Boba Fett. Uh, then I've got a Mandalorian, the Halo figure, Wolverine and some... Fucking dinosaur, I don't even know where that come from. Yeah, I, I just can't help but add little random things. I mean, like, look at this, like, why? We've also, just behind the monitors, I've sort of hidden my Xbox One, which never gets used. I literally just use that for Netflix now. I don't, I literally don't do anything on the Xbox. Um, I have got a couple of games on there, if ever I just, you know, want to chill in bed or anything like that, but I don't want to watch anything. I'll play a game on there, but... The majority of my gaming is done on my PC, which we'll get to in just a minute. In terms of the desk itself, it's actually an IKEA desk. It's one of their gaming ones. 
Um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it is very big. Um, the old desk that I had was an L desk, so that went from basically where this one starts, up there, and right into that corner. And which was a good desk, it served me for a couple of years, but it was very thin. Um, I mean, it was sort of like that thin. Which, like, you know, it was fine for my monitors, but I couldn't put anything else on the desk. Like, whereas this one, it's like basically twice the, twice the width of this. Um, and obviously it's not as long, but because of the space that I've gained there, I've been able to put everything that I wanted on the desk which works out a lot better for me and also I can because it's got a second level I'm able to move the monitors off the desk so that I've technically gained more space again because effectively I've got a shelf and then another addition which I really really like actually this is like one of the best things about this as well I've actually mounted my normal telly which was just there where my hamster is um, I've actually mounted that to the back of the desk so I can watch telly in bed. In terms of my gaming chair, it's a Habada. Habada? Habada? I'm not sure. But it is the only chair with that shade of blue that somewhat matches my PC and my, my setup that I've got going on. Um, obviously, I had to put Pikachu in there because I, d I didn't like the chair with just like that back support and then the head support it felt really weird like I almost felt like when I was sitting down I was like my back was sinking into the chair and my head was just like almost like solid um, and I put that pillow in and it's a, it's a really nice sort of cushion now so it's much better um, in terms of my keyboard this is a Amazon keyboard um, again oh and the, the mouse as well the mouse came with this as a set um, it's just an Amazon bundle and again it's the only colorway that matches my PC which we will get into in just a second. The mouse mat is from Amazon as well. I believe I brought this as a bundle these three so it was about 50 or 60 quid for the three. Um, so that's not too bad I mean it's a you know it's a mechanical keyboard so it is quite loud. Um, I, I really like the mouse, it's proper lightweight, um, it's got all like the, the sensitivity buttons and stuff that you can literally click and it changes the sensitivity instantly, so, um, and it, I think it's got a total of four or five, maybe even six buttons on there, um, but I, ve I very rarely use the actual buttons when I'm playing PC, um, it's mainly just like left click, right click and the scroll and stuff like that. In terms of my headset, I've got the Fnatic Plus, I believe that's called, um, which is by far the best headset I've ever had. Um, the noise cancelling, um, it is insane. Like You literally can't hear anything else other than what's coming through the headphones. It is amazing. The sound quality, everything, like all the different volume options is just unreal. It's the best headset I've ever had, hands down. And if you go for the upgraded, upgraded, well, yeah, the upgraded version, you get this as well, which is like an extra 10 or 15 quid. Um, oh, it's the, the Fnatic React Plus, I believe this is called. Um, you've got like this, I don't really know what it's called. It's like almost like an amplifier type thing where you've got extra volume, uh, the 7.1 input, um, the talking settings, you've got the the mute button up further up onto the cable as well um, it does come with this as well but because I play a lot of solo games um, and I do a lot of streaming I don't want like my computer to get confused and I start talking through my headset when I've got a perfectly good microphone there that I use which then brings me on to the blue snowball microphone in white with hold on, where is it with the sound suppressor as well, that's what I'm calling it, I don't know whether that is the correct name for it, it's probably not, but that's my sound suppressor setup, got it on, bit of a bit of a crane arm type thing going on there, I've sort of tucked it out of the way, um, and that's fine actually if you get that it's there sometimes, obviously I've got the Rafe beanie, Ashley 10 for 10% 10 off if you want your Rafe, talking of which, as you can see I've got my little Rafe collection there, um, I've got one of the newer ones which is Pear, Emerald Abyss, rest in peace um rg berry is that oh no that's berry lemonade and then i've got bayside blast up there as well which is also amazing 
the PC setup with my glow in the dark Mandalorian just sort of chilling in there why not so my PC setup is I've got an i3 10 100F 4 core 8 thread CPU a H410 LGA 1200 motherboard 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM I've got an NVIDIA GTX 1660 6 gigabyte graphics card 240 gigabyte SSD windows and a 2 terabyte hard drive disk and I've since then added a 200 gigabyte um, SSD and a 1 terabyte SSD so I've got different SSDs I've got one for like games um, well two for games technically um, and then I've got one for like all my filming, my photos, my editing and all that sort of shit so yeah then I've got this really comfy Star Wars Stormtrooper rug and then we'll touch briefly on this uh, it's just I mean it's work in progress I still need to change a lot of stuff all the top <coughs> is pretty much Funko Pops um, there is bits of Lego on there, not really anything special, I mean, uh, the bonsai tree that Jess bought me for my birthday two or three years ago, uh, that is like the best thing on there, maybe this as well, um, a lot of the other stuff's pretty random, then I've got all my collectible Lego all in there, it's mainly Star Wars stuff, uh, there's a couple of Fast and Furious bits in there, but the rest, like the majority of that is Star Wars. So, if you'd want to see another video, or a video, on my Star Wars collection or just my Lego collection in, in general like the video and then up here is just sort of like memorabilia sort of stuff um, I got Bad Omens comics I think there's six there in total uh, there is mine and Jess's anniversary which has got our favourite song lyrics in like a vinyl CD uh, I got Pikachu in a shopping trolley a uh, five dollar bill just a bunch of random stuff on there really and obviously the Rafe as well so yeah that is my updated 2024 setup tour if there's any questions about my setup or anything that's involved with my setup that I didn't mention and you wanted to know about feel free to drop it in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer your question if you like this video smash the like button if it gets 15 likes I will review and showcase everything in here. With that being said, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.